This pond may seem small, secluded and, well, a little bit insignificant. But trust me, if you come out here on a night like this in early spring, then you would be completely wrong. There's so much stuff going on here that I don't really know where to start, really. But the main stars of the show are two species of amphibian. The first of these species is the smooth newt, or the common newt, which is the species, as the name suggests, um, the one you're most likely to see here in the UK. The other one, though, is beyond doubt everyone's favourite, and it's actually Britain's rarest species of newt. It's the great crested newt. And here in Oxfordshire, it's actually one of its strongholds, and in this pond in particular, it's doing extremely, extremely well. Now, the reason why it is so rare is due to habitat loss. Great crested newts like large, weedy ponds. That's where they lay their eggs. So what the female does is it gets a bit of pond weed and wraps each egg up individually, almost like it was making a little snowball with its back legs. But in order to spawn, of course, you need to find a mate first. And that's mainly what this period is all about. This is the courting period for these newts. And we're seeing a little bit of that, especially in our smooth newts. So how does a smooth newt, or any newt, attract a mate? Well, here in these two species, the smooth newt and the great crested newt, we have something called sexual dimorphism going on. That means you can tell who the male and who the female is just by looking at them. And here, the distinction is quite clear. In the great crested newt, well, the male has a really, really impressive crest and silvery tail. It's also a little bit smaller, but actually, the difference between male and female smooth newts is equally as distinct because the males also develop a crest of sorts and they have spots along the sides of their body. The males want to display to the females how good their genes are so the females choose to mate with them. But they've also got loads of other behavioural tricks up their sleeves as well. I've been seeing this a little bit in this pond but the males often give a little bit of a show to the females. And how do they do that? Well, they do that by whipping their tail from side to side in front of the female to really get her turned on. Well, last night was an absolute bonanza of courting activity. It really was very, very impressive indeed. But I'd like to get up close and personal with these impressive newt courtship displays. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna see if I can find another male and another female newt, keep them in this jar, only for a few hours until it gets dark, and see if we can film that elaborate courtship display up close. Right. There's one already. You can't see it as clearly here because it's not in water, but this male has quite an impressive crest on it. And there's the belly. Absolutely beautiful. So we're gonna be keeping a very, very close eye on the behavior of these two individuals. And as soon as they start doing anything interesting, we'll get the camera out. I must say, I've been watching this jam jar for quite a long time now, and although I have begun to see some signs of courtship, but I don't think it's been anywhere near as impressive as it was out in the pond itself. Nevertheless, though, it's given me a fantastic opportunity to show you what beautiful and actually quite exotic looking these newts are, especially the males, anyway. So, I'm gonna go and put them back.
Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give this video a like and more importantly, subscribe. The button's just down there or just beside me there. I've also recently got a brand new Facebook page, so make sure you give that a like. The link is just below me right now um, to receive all the latest updates on my wildlife adventures. So for the meantime, I'll see you next time.